Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we have an amazing day uh, for the people who loves and likes to play Call of Dragons or maybe you are a newcomer and you are going to start playing this amazing game. We have introduction of the future plans of our game which is like which we hit one year anniversary and I think this update and these future plans will be amazing news for every single player in the game because uh, developers of the game they are touching almost every single uh, like future plan uh, like me like mistakes which are making right for now and making us as easier uh, to progress through the game there is a couple of new things which we're gonna expect for, for the next year but there is some things which we're gonna get a new additional updates uh, such as for example warped system uh, it will be a new version of the warped system which is pretty exciting so let's not talk uh, in forward and let's dive into the uh, this small uh, video and we will see like what kind of reaction I will have first of all uh, it's pretty interesting that they are like changing a lot of stuff regarding warpets now we will be able to upgrade like a like we are upgrading skills of the heroes we will be able to upgrade the skills of the warpets and like skills in general will be uh, in like common skills and rare skills uh, and also we will be able to uh, upgrade stars of the skills which is amazing news for now we had only one chance to upgrade the stars of the uh, any skill of the warped system by just getting lucky and it's it was all random it will be get changed which means like simply by just playing the game uh, collecting warpets uh, like uh, letting your warpets live so you will get additional skill will be beneficial for you uh, like every single skill which you're gonna catch from the beasts will be important because uh, with that skills you will be able to increase the stars uh, the new addition of the upgrading skills of the warpets is pretty interesting i'm not sure how to react about that i need to see how easy it will be for us to upgrade those skills if it will be as hard as legendary heroes for example uh, it will be really really rough for free-to-play players or in general players of the Call of Dragons. Uh, but like in terms of Warped system, I like it because it it needed to be a lot more simple. Uh, it was a lot complicated whenever it was inter introduced. But time by time they understood that uh, the system is complicated and they need to make it even better. Because in general, like catching the uh, pets like a Pokemon and uh, like upgrading the skills is a good game gameplay is a good system in my opinion this is a changes we're gonna expect from the warped system uh, which i i kind of like it will bring another dimension to the game but i uh, like uh, we need to see in uh, live gameplay until it will be really really hard for us to speak more uh, deeply about the warped system uh, the another addition into the game is a newest addition uh, which will happen uh, it's really really interesting which means one versus one fights it will be called like some tournament tournament of champions if i'm not mistaken uh, which means you're gonna like any time of the gameplay you can uh like make a one duel one versus one with uh, anyone and you are going to uh, form your formation i guess four or five legions maybe three uh, three legions depending on your conditions uh, it was said that you can even have one legion versus one legion uh, i'm not sure about the rewards so they did not say anything about the rewards but it looks a fun gameplay additional thing to do in call of dragons uh, like mainly for the kingdom builder games uh, it's all about research it's all about progressing and the progressing takes a lot of days and months so uh, meanwhile if you will have something to do in the game so you won't gonna just enter to the game every five hours it's a great addition it's it looks a nice concept depending on what kind of rewards it will be uh, maybe there, there won't be any rewards or it will be just for fun uh, will we be able to get merits out of these fights or like what kind of tournament it will be uh, it looks uh, interesting uh, i like the idea additional content for the game is always welcome and whenever i saw this it already excites me how good this game going to progress in the 
second year of the development. Uh, everybody knows that first year all is always rough, especially for Kingdom Builder games. Uh, but like looking uh, in the future, like I think the future of the Call of Dragons uh, looks amazing. Uh, simply because they are helping us, they are improving what's the best already, which is uh, fighting gameplay we will be able to have a chance to fight even more test some new things maybe you do you are you want to test a new new hero, hero pair you want to test a new talent tree uh like in the past you had to write somebody to help you to duel right now you're gonna have a chance to one versus one whoever you want which is a great news the additional and the most important change which i think we got from this uh update will be uh, about cross-server migration and home servers. Uh, basically, what was said that uh, we will have a home servers in the Call of Dragons, the server which where we started the gameplay. And every new season, we will be able to transfer ourselves to our home server. And the most, what's important about that is uh, there won't gonna happen any reset on your home server. Uh, as also, they they said that. Uh, uh, you can, you will be able to transfer uh, transfer your account to your home server to the current server anytime you want, uh, whenever you're gonna start a new season. So that means, it depending on your gameplay, maybe you want to play with your home server, your friends, maybe you want to have a new alliance. So it will, it is helping players who uh, generally. Uh, was asking us uh, to get removed the cross-server migration, especially for free-to-play players. I understand 5,000 gems might not be a lot, but still you would be more than happy to use those 5,000 gems uh, in the uh, something else, right? Uh, also, the cross-server migration future, uh, feature will be uh, changed in May, and regarding like home servers, it will be um, uh, later, but already a great feature which will be added in the game. A lot of players were asking for it, which means developers are listening to their uh, players, which is always amazing. Uh, and I like this change. I think this change is like most important, which we are going to have in the future. The most exciting change which will happen uh, in the future is um, new faction. Uh, that's the most exciting news, I think, because a lot of people were uh, asking that, um, like myself too, like two factions are a little amount. Uh, also, they said about not a faction, but factions. They are already developing a couple of factions, a couple of visible uh, like um, uh, artworks and uh, stuff like that. Like that's the first steps whenever you are creating a new faction you need to have a artwork um like they said a couple of factions uh, which means we will have a lot more but uh, from the season three uh, which means after this season after season ti we will have a new faction it will be an easterners as uh, as they mentioned uh, in my opinion it will be uh, like infantry special unit faction uh, like we already had some uh, artworks of dwarfs some infantry uh, legions so i think they will go on that path uh, it's easy to understand in any kind of games that dwarves are mainly uh, great as an infantry so finally we are getting the season uh, like new faction in season three it was kind of expected because three factions are not a a great amount uh, like i was expecting to get a new faction pretty soon if you have watched my videos or live streams i always mentioned uh, that fact that we are going to have a new faction pretty pretty soon so uh soon is like in couple of months uh, i think two or maximum three months we are getting a a new faction which i think should be already ready i think they are testing some stuff so it will be uh, like presented to us in a great way and they, they are not making any mistakes uh, in my opinion the future plans looks amazing of course they are, did not speak about new heroes or new artifacts that's already a normality we are going to get those swans but what's the most exciting news about these future plans is new factions which will be a couple of factions uh, cross server migration will bring back communities in the game uh, which is amazing. You will be able to play with the players you like to play. Uh, and the home server feature is amazing, in my opinion. That's most crucial uh, for the future of the game. And the Warped system, in general, needed some more explanation, needed some more simpleness, and they are changing it and making it even more simple. Uh, that's the idea. That's what we are going to expect from the uh, gameplay of the Call of Dragons. I think it will be a great thing to 
uh, see uh, like how what kind of uh, art style for example we are going to get from the a new faction what will be the special units uh, what kind of heroes we are going to get uh, how the warped system is going to uh, apply to the current gameplay and in general crossover migration uh, change is amazing uh, tell me what do you think about the future plans of the game are you are you excited was you waiting something new maybe you didn't like the future plans uh, generally me i love it uh, that's what i was expecting and uh, I, I got even more we will have a couple of more uh, factions in the second year of the call of dragons now this is all i wanted to speak uh, about the game this is my first video whenever i'm making a reaction video i hope i'm not gonna get copyrighted uh thanks for watching uh, give me your ideas what do you think about the plans and of course if you like the content if you like the videos i'm uh, making press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game thanks for watching uh, i hope you are having an amazing day night or morning whenever wherever you are i'm gonna see you very very soon bye bye